Hi, and welcome to our Breathe Move Rest practice. We're gonna ground, we're gonna cool, and we're gonna temper the heat of summer. So, welcome. Find a standing position, maybe a soft bend in the knees. Let the hands either rest on the belly or maybe even on the backside. Deepen the breath by inhaling through the nose. Let the belly expand. Exhale and sigh it out. Ah, good. Feet may stay where they are or widen just a bit. Toes gently turn out, take a sun breath as you open up. And then bring it down, just a little bend. Inhale up. Exhale down. So as you sit, go ahead and bring your hands to your thighs, maybe parallel the feet, cat and cow, round the neck. Pull the heart through and up, lift the chin. Let this ripple all the way up. So a tuck and a scroll up to the shoulders, up, back, and down. Alternate the shoulders. It's going to bring you into that backup dancer. A little bit of twist, perhaps with the torso. Elongate down through the elbows, if that feels good. Good, and empty coat sleeves, let the arms fly, right? Centripetal force, bring some traction through the arms into the spinal twist. Notice that the back foot lifts that heel to protect the knee, no torque, no twist in the knee. Good, moving down to the lower body, I'm gonna turn sideways so I can use the wall for support. Right leg behind me, I'm gonna circle the ankle, soft bend in the standing leg. Kind of get the top side and the underside of your toes and full range circle through your ankle, which is also going to reverberate all the way up into the thigh. Reverse. I bend and straighten the knee, lift and lower. Now notice my foot is behind me. That is to help open up the front hips and focus on that warming of the hamstring. A little bit different than the knee coming forward. Three, two, one. Let the leg swing forward and back. Good. Last one. And switch. Right? Ankles behind you. Roll over and around the toes. Soft. Bent in the left standing leg. And then reverse the roll of the toes. Good. 
Good. Squeeze the hamstring, fold the foot towards the buttocks. And swing the way. Well done. Come back to your stand with the feet wide. Inhale up and open. Exhale, bend and sink. Good. Switching the arms to behind the head. Inhale up. Exhale, press down and out. Good. Fold them in. Turn the toes forward. Taoist breath. Cat the back. One arm up, one arm down. Look up. Back through center. Opposite arm. One arm up. And back through center. Good. Some breath. Press it down and out. Fold it in. Press it forward. One up, one down. Good. Inhale up and open. Down and out. Fold it in. Press it forward, cap the back. One up, one down. Good. Roll the wrists. Good, and then throw your shoulders. Right, as if you're throwing some salt over your shoulder for luck, or maybe you're carrying a big heavy bag, just throw it on over. Let the head sway and the arms swing. Three, two, last one. Even it out. Good. Let the hands come down and around behind you and circle the nose. Pause, find a steady still, and then reverse. Well done. Good. Some breath up, and hands to heart center. Okay, so a lunge, square hips. Face to one side, back foot up or down. Arms move forward and back. Inhale up, exhale back. Good, up and over. Inhale up, swivel the feet, pivot to the other side. Widen and square, inhale up and lower. Good, up and over. Now this time we're gonna just swivel to our warrior two. So pivot that back foot. That might mean a longer stride. Good, good, and then take it back and front. Inhale, exhale. Take it deeper, take it farther, only if the body feels ready for that sensation, that stretch, that challenge to your balance. Up and over, swivel and pivot, and then back and forth. Good job. Come back to center, swivel to your star, and sink. Bring those elbows down. Good 
nicely done. This time as the hands come down, hold the thighs and dip the shoulder. Another side. Twist and dip. Back upright, toe heel those feet together, roll those shoulders. A little balance pose, tree pose if you'd like. Standing on one, lift the foot and rotate the hips. Square hips and level at the top. Then option to lift that leg up if you can keep the hips square and level. Then extend your branches, lift your gaze, your drishti, soften and drop the shoulder blades. Breathe. And release to empty coat sleeves, let that leg step wide and swing. Not only does it feel good to move after that stillness, having that wide step kind of compensates for that drawing in the samana vayu of that one leg balance. So just notice how it feels. It's also a bit of a cheat, right? To give yourself permission to fall into that openness. So it's all good. We're not cheating when we bring balance of Squeezing in some the bayou and ah, opening out the other bayou. Right? We're not cheating as long as we're choosing. We're paying attention to what our body can enjoy, can manage, can experience with full attention today. I'm a lot more wobbly on this foot. Right? We're a few months out from reconstruction foot surgery. Whole new ball game. Learning to walk and balance and move with a new foot. Oh, I am super excited. Look at that. I'm so happy with my foot strength and stability today. And this too shall pass. So whether yours was a huge success, or perhaps a wobbly mess, right? Extend it out, and we're coming on down. So take your time. Maybe there's some empty coats, please. Maybe you move right into this malasana squat, right? with the sun breath up and open. When you're ready, when your heart rate has steadied, when you're ready to come on down, catch yourself from the back side. And let the knees sway from side to side. And the knees sway, take that into the twist. So the knees fall to the right. My left arm reaches around, twisting towards that mermaid, and then just a little push up here. Back through center, plant the hands, fingers could be toward the body, out like flippers or even pointing back. Lift the heart, press down to the heel of your hand. Let the throat open. Good. Knee sway to the second side, swing that back arm around, stabilize, and again, little push up, hands under the shoulders, elbows bend towards the body, keep them in close. Going back through the center, same thing with that heart lift, or press down to the feet, press down to the heels of the hands, squeeze the shoulder blades to lift the heart, and then engage the belly and lift the buttocks.
Come on down, soles of the feet together, Baddha Kanasana, cobbler's pose, cat and cow here. Let the space between the groin and the feet be as big, as open as you need to feel stable and supported. Done. Coming back to that first side mermaid. So stand the feet, sway the knees. Now a lateral fold. So my top arm is going to reach up and over and back. This is enough right here. Coming back upright, as close to upright as I can, or even adding that opposite sway. Not unlike our warrior two sway. Now with our pelvis uneven on the floor, Bringing a little more sensation into the torso. The last one. Bringing the hands down, turn to the back. Now, cat and cow. So, not quite to your fullest rotation. Take a few cat and cow here. We've got a bit of a twist, a bit of a fold, and lateral bend. Now I'm going to swing my feet around. You can stay right where you are, turning back towards forward. We're going to move through that reverse heart lift, right? So hands, heart, feet could be planted, bum could stay planted, or extend the legs and lift the hips in reverse plank pose. And lower, bring the knees in, wrap the arms around the thighs or the shins, tucking that chin in. Second side. Now, again, I'm walking my feet around so I can stay facing towards you. Just moving to the other side. Now, that lateral bend. Straight up right, trying to stack the shoulders over the hips. And if that's easily accessible, then you can add the reverse sway away from the floor. Well, you're always going towards the floor, aren't you? Now we're going towards the lower body side. Two more. Last one. As you come up back to neutral, swing that back arm around. Again, not your full rotation. We want to have enough room to now tilt the pelvis, nod the head, and undulate the length of our spine for cat and cow. Back to face forward, right? Again, here's your choice, that heart lift, any form or fashion, just the sternum, hips and heart, or lengthen the legs, hip and heart lift into that reverse plank. Keep those toes and knees pointing up. Awesome. As you lower, bring the soles of the feet together once again. And now, Stir a great big pot. Let the torso roll and sway. The buttocks might rock from side to side. And reverse, come back to center. And then reverse that scroll. Back 
to center. One leg extends long, one leg coming into that tree variation. So in other words, again, hips are level at the top and square to the front. So that bent leg might need to be lower down the body. You might even like a bit of a support underneath the knee. Lift and hinge from that hip. So you're reaching the sternum towards that long leg and take a few breaths. So primarily we're working the hamstring at this point by hinging at the hip flexor. So the back is straight from the tailbone to the head. No rounding, no curving, right? Lengthen. Use the hands to help support you or bring in a bolster. We got three more breaths here. Use your arms, press up, stand the bent knee or not. Slide it away to make more room. We're gonna to twist towards the knee. If for any reason that doesn't work for you today, you've got an abundance here of baby or anything for that matter. Just do the same twist when the opposite way. And this just gives us a little more leverage to feel that opening in the SI joint. Now that standing leg could even cross over for even more stretch across the back side of the buttocks. Hooked my opposite elbow on the knee. And now I'm just going to lift my back hand up to help open up across the heart and the belly. Good. As you unwind, cross that ankle over the extended leg and figure four fold. Bring that bottom leg in. Or some of you will recline right on down. And if you like that recline, awesome. If you want a little more, then hug the top leg and extend the bottom leg for an inverted pigeon. You are reclined, you're just gonna to roll to your side and press yourself up. If you are up, we're just gonna switch the legs through some gentle rocking of the knees. So knees bend, feet stand. And welcome back. All right, so the second side, extend and find that tree. And then hinge the tree, leaning towards that long foot. And you draw the shoulder blades back and down. It's going to help to activate the erectors, the muscles that go climb up the spine, to help hold the weight of your head. And that's why the arms are relatively under the shoulder. So they're not adding extra weight of extension. They're actually adding a little more support, like pillars under the weight of the torso. Good. Take in a breath. Exhale, press down, squeeze to the belly and rise, and then find your twist. So knee can stay open, knee can stand, or pivot away, whichever feels best for you. Well done. As you unwind, figure four. Again, we're looking for that pigeon variation, the external rotation of the top leg combined with the flexion or the body coming towards that leg. Use gravity to help support the weight of your leg into that flexion. Add on that next layer by extending the bottom leg if that feels accessible, safe. Good. 
If you are up, I'm going to come down. If you are down, I'm just going to unwind, rock the knees one more time, and then a happy baby pose will complete the active portion of our practice. Much like the standing squat, this happy baby pose is going to bring a rounding into that low back. An external rotation in the thighs, in the hip connection. So whether you hold the knees, hold the thighs, or even reach towards the instep, the arch of your foot. Maybe you have the length through the hamstrings to extend through the knees. Maybe you want to hold the feet and bring them towards the sternum or even towards the pelvis. Perineum. And then one more opening, bring the knees together, lower the feet, and three times just roll the pelvis, baby the hips lift, exhaling, rise, lower, and inhale. Exhaling, rise. Lower, inhale, last one. Good. As the hips come down, perhaps the arms open out to a goddess or a star. The legs too could widen to help support that pointing up of the knees and the toes, neutralizing the rotation that might be habitual in your thigh to hip connection. And we rest here, Savasana. And some movement back into the body, fingers, toes, wrists, and ankles. And then using one leg to stand, press down through that foot to roll yourself over to the side body. <sighs> Feel that breath move deep into the belly, expanding the ribs. And then as you're ready, exhale and rise up and into your seated pose comfortable, supported even, seated shape. My close the thumb to the first finger and let the hands rest on the earth or on the body. Notice your breath here again. Stack the ears, the shoulders, the ribs, and the hips. We tend to lean forward a bit. See if you can stack. Notice what you notice. Feel what you're feeling. Hear, taste, and smell that which your body is sensing. And as you're ready, go ahead and start to open your eyes. And again, use the eyes to take in your surroundings. See the room, the world, the body.
knowing that you are safe, let's bring the hands to heart center, close the eyes. Maybe there's an intention for your day today to breathe, move, and rest, to repeat this cycle, this circle. As a metronome, as a mantra of ease, of balance, of spanda shakti, pulsing energy of the universe as it moves through you. May you breathe deeply and move freely, labor lovingly, and live vibrantly. May you be well. Thank you so much. And namaste.